so here we have guys the first game between VKM and Dead Squad. Alright, we we will start off by watching VKM because obviously VKM has more fan base here, so we'll start off by viewing their games and see how they'll actually play it. VKM looking strong. Yeah, and you're Acer. I will need your server ID, which server you're from, and your in-game name. What is this lag I am encountering? Service too laggy. So we have here Team Dead Squad versus VKM. Whoever wins this rifle fight here. Ooh, look! We have Team VKM. They were gonna go to point B and stick behind them. But they instantly realizes that their partner is struggling and they decided to wipe out this squad and secure point D. That would give them 30 points leading. Alright, maybe I maybe I should look at VKM because they have more actions going on, you know. They're so aggressive players and they push aggressively. And it's impressive how they are also adept like they're quite adaptive in a sense where they can realize that their partner is in struggle and the opportunity that if they down the remaining two dead squad members there, they will have control of point D. So here we have one of the VKM player attempting to stall this guy. With one player in this point D it would stop that squad from having this stronghold because if there's two teams present in one stronghold none of the team gets point what a play vcam i know right exactly like if we can play really smart here oh this I, I feel like vkm would actually get the point the stronghold here oh this guy he did a very smart smart small detail move if you didn't realize the moment he dropped down, one of the Dead Squad members, which is Isker, dropped down to follow her. But she instantly juked her and moved up. Which means she would be down there and she would have no courage or range to hit this guy. Which means this guy would have the opportunity to help the guy on the opposite side to deal with the guy he's dealing with. Which means he changed the fight from a 1v1v1, like an individual 1v1, into a 2v1 and then a 2v1 again. That's the only reason he's alive. Because if he didn't drop down and the girl up that didn't follow up, it would have mean the outcome might be different. Team VKM is currently leading by 100 points. Although they have lesser st controlled strongholds. But their team chemistry is so strong. I believe this guy just stopped and looked at the map if I'm not wrong. He, he looked at the map. He realizes that there's an opportunity here that he can get this point. And he comes instantly to back up his teammate here. It was a 2v1 and a 1v1 now. It's, a, it's actually a 3v1 but it doesn't matter you know. Because VKM is leading by almost 50 points. So here we have VKM again, once again, VKM is always in a 2v1, they never fight a 1v1, this is simply because they know the chance of winning a fight when it's 2v1 is greater than a 1v1, even if even if the fight starts off from an individual 1v1, VKM will somehow do something and turn the fight into a 2v1 and then a 2v1 again. That squad is strong, I'm not gonna lie. The fact that that squad can put up to the score and try to keep it trying to keep the gap only between like a hundred, they're doing a great job. Because usually if you fight a mature team that have no experience and have no analytical skills, the point gap between VKM and that squad would obviously be around 200 to 300 now. Like the match between Echo versus Scott like like Echo outstrang them, outpowered them and outsmarted them. That's why they had a point leading all 400 points. But this match between VKM and Dead Squad, they are a next tier team. 
VKM specifically, they have good comms. They have good comms, good map awareness, and the teammate is always there to back them up, which I would say what Jet Squad is leading. Because if you can see, Jet Squad is always in a 2v1 situation. Even if they start off from a 1v1, one of the VKM members will come and help. And so we have here, one of the VKM members have news that his teammate is bleeding out. But for some reason, this guy, this guy, specifically this guy, Jenser, from Z Squad, he just ignored his teammate that is bleeding out. He just let the person take the kill, and he just gave away four points. And he finds himself in a two v one, which means he basically gave away four points from his teammate and four points from himself. That's eight points in total, and they just lost one of the stronghold too. Because if he dies, this stronghold is going down, and VKM is going to have control of the stronghold. I am saying, Christian, what is this? Uh, every single tournament that Life After have is hosted on their private server, which only contestants have the access to. VKM is rushing the enemy front line. VKM is not just rushing the enemy's front line. They're taking, they're taking every single chance to down every single person, and they are not taking chances. Of being in a 1v1 it's always a 2v1 and there's only one person that's rotating around seeing which side needs help for example if these two sides been here for a while and one member bleed out that one person that is rotating on vkm team will be here but as you can see here whenever it's a 2v1 vkm never lose vkm never lose a 2v1 look at elite boys vkm first player 13 kills 10 kills 12 kills 10 kills 15 kills most of VKM players have more than 10 kills. This is simply because it's always a 2v1. And I believe this is the guy that is rotating around as attempting to fill up spots and help out their teammates. And Jet Squad is just barely standing in there. They are always fighting a 2v1. Is there any way we can watch this ourselves? Uh, not that I know because currently the server wise. This private server is already overloading, even with just the contestants and the spectators and streamers. So I don't think anytime soon you guys will have access to what you yourself. So I would say the first the the winner of the first game between VKM and Zack Squad, I would say VKM definitely nailed first game and if if that is consistent and they pull this strategy like they use this strategy the next game they would be the team that is going against echo and believe me the game between echo and vkm will be very interesting to watch because vkm and echo they have the same characteristic good aim good map awareness as well as good backups and good team chemistry which team echo also have Anyway, second game of VKM versus that squad. Who would be the winner that proceed? Proceed. What are you doing in my face? Get out of my face. So here we have that squad versus VKM. Second game. Let's see if that squad would change their strategy and the way they play the game and attempts to get points. Because if they don't change their strategy, obviously VKM is gonna outsmart them, outpower them, and actually win. All right, round two, round two, guys. Let's start with watching someone from that squad. Okay, two players. Is it two players? How many players do we have to have them? Three players. And we have one members of VKM, two, and three. See, VKM is never alone. And I believe that the moment where they spot that that squad has three players on this side is when they're over there. You know, like how when you walk out and you move to the middle, you can actually you can actually have enough rendering range to realize that how many members of the opposing enemy team is moving to this point. So I believe they spot a tree and they move to the tree. For some reason, this guy is having a one v two from VKM, which is very very rare. But I believe this is because VKM's other teammate is having issues themselves. Yeah, they're fighting over there, attempting to secure their points. And I'm not biased towards uh, VKM, but VKM just really surprised me with their game mechanics and their tactics. But you can see here, VKM is actually struggling. Ooh, this might be interesting. That squad might actually take the win of the second game and actually come back. 
And here we have here, one of the VK member is gonna respawn here within a few seconds and this player is gonna go down without a single doubt. Because look at VKM, VKM has insane aims and mobility, they are capable of jumping and taking shots. Oh, it's a 2v1 now, if I'm not wrong that is a VKM player, VKM player is sneaking behind, they are going for the stronghold. 2v1, 1v1, doesn't matter but because one of the VKM members is in the occupation of points. They are going to sneak around the back and get the stronghold. We have Connor here, backing up the teammates. And I believe this player is just going to throw smokes and buy time until he bleeds out. And hopefully one of the teammates come here. The score is very, very close. It's 260 and 259. VKM is winning by literally 2 points, single digit. Meaning, that squad would definitely have a chance to win the second game and pull and I mean, take the game to game 3 and, po and hopefully they will win game 3. And see we have here, it's a 2v1, 2v1 situation, it's a 1v1 now. But this player has the first shot and she is most likely to win unless she really misses a shot. Oh, the tables have turned and other members of VCamp has respawned here which means this player is most like- Oh wait, what? Wow, look at the team chemistry here. Look at the team chemistry here. It's 2v2. 2v2 which means both teams have good communication, good chemistry, enough to tell them that Hey, can you help me out here? I'm in a 2v1 situation. 340 and 300. Oh, guys, guys, guys. Look what do we have here. Team Jet Squad leading by 40 points on the second game. Which means they successfully took over one stronghold. Which I believe if they take over this stronghold, they will be leading by 100 points. And VKM members are not, they're not really trying to fight. They're just jumping around buying time. Alright, let's see at the Elim, Elim spot and see who's actually having the most kill and the MVP of the match. I have Gento here with 7 kills and 3 devs. And VKM pick here with 6 kills and 1 dev. Alright, I'm gonna go with VKM pick because I have expected him this game. And I'm only watching one side of the battle so I never know what's going on on the second side. On another side, you know? So, oh, here we have here VKM trying their very best. To stay alive and make sure Team Death Squad doesn't get any more points because they are behind by one point. I mean, a hundred point. Yeah, VKM is losing by a hundred point, and VKM need to secure this point because if they lose point C, they will be responding all the way back there, where you have to take the train where the game initially start, and that's gonna waste around. 10 to 20 seconds for you to get back a game and that's almost 40 points there because every second you get 2 points every second counts here oh oh look look at the player right here he didn't notice player one of the player from team jet squad is going for the point she is going for the point she just ran past everyone and i believe that's a cu if cu gets that point vkm is going to lose the second game and there will be a game 3 between vkm and jet squad Oh, oh, look at this sneaky girl. She just ran past v Team VKM and the team tried to go to point. Let's see if. He, ooh, she actually made it to half. So if this player dies and she stays here for a few more seconds, she's gonna get the point. Let's see whose aim is better. It's, it's, it's aim off right here. And there's one VKM member right there. I can see at the very edge of my eyes. He should really come and back up this member because. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Oh, she's bleeding out, and I believe the member she's fighting is and this guy. Is it? Stop! Stop! Stop jumping! I can't see. Stop! Okay, she's dead. Never mind. Is using pace make it prohibited? Uh, it's allowed. Apparently, it's allowed. So here we have here, I see you from Z squad. It's trying to make sure that they don't lose the points they have been they have been dying hard to accumulate. Because if no one accumulates a point, they lose this point. And Z squad is just going all in attempting to get point A. Because if they get point A, without a doubt, VKM has already lost the game. 
Yo Kai, I'm late. Yo Adam, can you put down your server ID, your in-game name, and which server you're from? Whoa, pacemaker allowed? Uh, if I'm not wrong, every place is given a budget of 300 fat credits to change their name, if I am not wrong. I think it's already too late for Team VKM on the second game. Because apparently, obviously, they only have 90, 90 points left and the gap is 300. They're not gonna get 300 points within almost only 30 seconds left because they only, every second you get 2 points. Every second you get 2 points, which means in less than 1 minute, Team Jet Squad is going to take the second game, which means these will go into the third game. And whoever is fighting Echo, I'm looking forward to it because it's gonna be one hell of a fight and one hell of a season, dude. So here we have here VKM with a second game. I mean, what? I mean, that's what with the second game, you know? VKM is a bit inconsistent in their performance. Where do we get our ID from? Uh, the setting next to your map. You click that and you will see your server ID and all. Let me show you where you're from. VKM here dropping off a bit on their performance.